What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to episode two of Summer Shredding. Got something a little bit interesting for you guys today. Uh, so I'm finally starting my first carb cycle for this prep and really forever. I've never actually done a real carb cycle, like a, like a meticulous one. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating. I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing this carb cycle, why we decided to do this. I'm six weeks out from my show, a little under six weeks now. So it's time to kick it into gear. We got it. We still got some weight to lose. So I'm gonna show you guys how we're utilizing carb cycling. What are the benefits? And then I'm gonna show you guys today's my low day. I'm gonna put the macros up on the screen. That's the macros I'm hitting today. And then tomorrow's a high day. So I'm gonna show you guys both today what I'm eating for the low day and what I'm eating tomorrow for the high day. Meal number one stays the same. This is still the same thing I've been eating even before the carb cycle. Only difference is. I got a little less oats now. So we have three eggs, four slices of black forest ham, two servings of low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese, and then top it off with, I got 150 grams of cottage cheese here. I know that looks crazy. I know, I know how that looks, right? But trust me, you put a little bit of Cholula sauce on there, you mix it all up, it tastes incredible. Uh, and here we have just half a cup of oats, one cup of water, uh, very plain and simple, but I will add some sugar-free maple syrup to this, which only adds about four grams of carbs. So this is gonna be meal one. Uh, I actually already had my morning concoction drink, which I showed you guys in the last video. Basically, it's just four ingredients. I put in about six ounces of aloe vera juice, uh, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, just a little bit of water, and then some meal caffeine. And so this just helps with digestion mostly, it helps with your stomach lining, helps your metabolism, and then it's got that caffeine for some energy as well. So I've been drinking that every single morning and I feel way better every single day when I drink that. So meal number one is ready. I'm gonna pack this up. We're gonna go to Alpha Land. I'm gonna go get my cardio done. Right now I'm doing 700 calories of cardio, but I do 500 calories in the morning and then I'll do 200 calories later in the day after my workout. So I'll keep you guys updated with that. All right guys, I'm home now. So, I don't have any food made. I need to cook. I bought a packet of chicken breast. So I'm about to make that right now. You know, it's really the worst. Like the worst part of prep is being hungry and not having food ready and having to cook. Cause that's when you're most likely to make a mistake. When you just, when you gotta eat something and you're looking at your fridge and you're just like, I don't feel like cooking. I usually try to avoid that. I usually try to have some food always prepped and in the fridge but I finished my chicken yesterday and I need to make the new package so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the oven I should probably start preheating I basically just take the whole packet of chicken I wash it I season it and then I put it in the oven for 25 minutes at 425 and uh, and that way I just have the whole package of chicken already made and I just store it all in one big container and then as I need it, I can just go ahead and chop it up and pull that out. So that's the plan. I'm about to make some chicken right now and then I'm gonna make some veggies. Um, and then we'll figure out exactly what the second meal is gonna be. I'll show you guys in a sec. What's going on for me? What up? Uh, anything you do when you're ready to get out of the apartment? I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Why don't you like the apartment? Working stuff. It doesn't matter. But uh, try to put it into like documents. Yeah. We just got some zucchini squash. We got some cucumber, tomatoes, chicken, and cheese. All right. So this is the first time I really make it like this, to be honest with you. 
Uh, the the veggies, I put some Cajun sauce, put it in the air fryer. The chicken and cheese, you just saw me put it on the pan. So for this meal right here, because I had so much chicken, this is 14 ounces of chicken. You're getting 30 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, and 100 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein. Now normally I would have even thrown a little bit of cottage cheese in there, but I ran out. I'm going to use that later. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to make later. Um, so that's the macros for this bowl. This is going to be very filling. It's going to make me feel much better because I've been hungry. It's been, it took me like an hour <laughs> to make this right here. This is why it's important to have your food already prepped. Um, but okay, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Maybe I'll throw a little bit of hot sauce on there if it needs it. And then uh, in about two hours, we're going to head to the gym. What's up, y'all? It's about to be 7 p.m. And uh, I'm barely getting ready to go to the gym. It's, it's honestly crazy how when you're on prep, you're so consistent with everything. You know, you're eating, your calories, everything is so consistent that you feel every little change. Like, this is my second day. I don't know if at the beginning of this video I said this was my first day. I'm not sure if I messed that up, but yesterday was actually my first day. Today is my second day of doing the low carbs. And I can feel it, man. I just feel exhausted. I feel drained. Like, my body just feels heavy. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it was so hard to get up to uh, go hit this workout. I'm about to take some caffeine. This is what I use instead of using pre-workout. I just use some Mio Energy. To be honest, I probably do like two servings. Each serving has uh, each serving has 90 milligrams of caffeine, so I'm probably getting close to 200. Honestly, I don't know. I don't ever measure it, but probably like two servings or so. I'm uh, I'm gonna go hit some shoulders right now. And then I gotta go grocery shop and then come back home to cook my last meal. So it looks like it might be kind of a late night today. I'm gonna try to get done early though. I'm trying not to eat too late. All right, well, I'll catch up with you guys on the last meal. All right, guys, gonna show you my dinner super quick. Uh, it's already like 10.30 p.m. I'm trying to eat already, get to bed, all right? So this is what we're doing. Uh, in here I have 200 grams of cottage cheese, low-fat cottage cheese. I have some seasonings and I have one egg. We're gonna put this on this pan here. Usually you're supposed to use parchment paper, but I'm just using aluminum foil with some um, with some nonstick spray. And my little blender thing ran out of battery, so I, that cottage cheese didn't fully blend. Oh well, we're gonna do what we can spread this around a little bit hopefully it doesn't mess it up too bad I actually tried this yesterday and it worked out great sorry I'm rushing I got one minute left on this memory card I'm gonna throw this in the oven 350 degrees for 35 minutes and then it's gonna come out like a flatbread and then we're gonna add some chicken and some other toppings on there here we go this is the last meal for the day it got a little burnt around the edge put it in there for a little too long but it's okay dude this tastes amazing um so i made the flatbread and then on top i put in six ounces of chicken with two servings of that mozzarella cheese i added a little bit of buffalo sauce to my chicken this is a zero carb buffalo sauce is like five calories so didn't even track that um, so this is gonna be my last meal for the day it's a lot of fun sorry i just got out the shower so i'm looking a little crazy but I'm going to go ahead and eat this. I'm going to enjoy it. That is a successful low-carb day. And then tomorrow we have a high-carb day. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you all tomorrow. Yo, what's up, guys? Day two. Today is our high day. I'm excited. I'm already hungry. I had my digestion concoction drink earlier already, like half an hour ago. And I can feel it in my stomach. It's doing its thing. Um, so I'm hungry, but we still got to go hit cardio before we can eat. I'm going to show you guys. We're eating the same thing as yesterday, uh, but this time just a little higher serving. So instead of just one serving of oats, we're doing two servings. Okay, so a little bit of cinnamon on top. And then, like I said, I'll have that with some maple syrup. That's gonna be the only change for the breakfast.
All right guys, just made it back home. It's like 3.30 p.m. right now and I need to eat. I'm starving. I don't even know what I'm gonna make yet, but I know I gotta get at least like 100 grams of carbs right now. So, oh, I'm excited. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna make yet. I'll, I'll show you guys one side. I really wish I had sweet potato fries or some sweet potatoes so I can make sweet potato fries in the air fryer. That's what I'm craving right now, but I have no sweet potato. Uh, yeah, so, but maybe later for dinner, I might go pick some up. Anyways, I'll show you guys what I make here in a minute. All right, so I was gonna just do some boring ass chicken and rice. That's, guys, I keep it simple, okay? Normally, I like to keep it simple. However, we're shooting a video and I need to have it be a little more exciting, so. Here's what we made. We got, oh, bro, like you don't understand. Like I'm so excited to eat this. We got six barbecue chicken tacos. So basically I grilled some onions and peppers and then I, I tossed some chicken in barbecue sauce, threw that on the pan and then added a little bit of cheese uh, and then I made some zucchini squash fries. This is pretty much the same thing that I do for the sweet potatoes. Just a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of that canola spray, like nonstick spray. Throw that in the air fryer for 12 minutes at 400. Tastes incredible. I'm, bro, like, I can't even tell you. Like, I don't eat stuff like this ever. This is like the first time pretty much on prep that I've eaten something like this. So, I'm, ex you guys, this is going to be bomb. I, I'm using these tortillas, which are zero carbs supposedly, because they're all fiber, but it's 14 grams of carbs, 5 grams of protein, 1.5 grams of fat per two tortillas. So I technically have three servings of these of the tortillas here, uh, which isn't really even that much. 30, that's like 43 grams of carbs for the tortillas here. And then another like 20 or so for that. I'll put the macros up on the screen so you know how much macros are for this meal. I'm excited to eat this. I'm gonna go, Actually, I'm gonna do a little taste test for you guys. Let's go. <sighs> Let's try this out. <laughs> you don't understand, like, that's so good. It's because I eat so plain most of the time. Well, just this prep has been very staples, chicken and rice type meals. So I'm excited to be having a little fun today. Mm. So this really doesn't have that many carbs. So I'm gonna have some carbs right before we go to the gym. It's gonna help me pump up. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I'll let you guys know. All right guys, so it's been about an hour and a half now since that last meal. I still have a lot of carbs left, like a lot of carbs left. And I kind of didn't really plan for this uh, very well because I don't really have anything that's high carb in the house besides like rice and stuff. Uh, I did make a bowl of cream of wheat. I made this about half an hour ago and then I put it in the freezer because I like to eat it cold. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of that sugar-free maple syrup in here. Um, and have this. this. This only has like, uh, let's see. I'm doing two servings, which is 50 grams of carbs, okay? So it's a pretty good pre-workout meal. I'm gonna just eat this, but I did find something because I still have a lot of carbs left. I have some fruity pebbles that have been in my pantry since before this prep started. So I'm gonna throw a serving of this in here to add another 30 carbs, 31 grams of carbs. And so that way, most of my carbs will be out of the way. I'm only gonna have like 60-ish for after the gym, which will be good because after the gym, I'm, I'm literally just eating right before bed. So yeah, gonna have this and then gonna take maybe half an hour more to let that digest and I'm headed to the gym. All right guys, I'm back in the apartment now. We have a little bit of a dilemma, okay? I always say if you if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. 
Today I failed to plan because I really thought it was going to be a lot easier to hit these carbs. I had been like, like <laughs> waiting for this day and when it came to it, I really messed up because I should have had some form of carbs in between my breakfast and my lunch because my breakfast I had it probably around 10 and then I didn't eat my lunch till almost 5 p.m. So I had a big gap there where I didn't eat. Um, and I just wasn't hungry. I kind of just got used to that routine. So we still have a bunch of carbs left. Let me see how many we got left. So I have 80 grams of carbs left. It's 10.48 p.m. So I'm about to eat a bunch of carbs right before bed, which isn't ideal, but we're gonna have that glycogen fill us up and we're gonna be feeling good tomorrow. I honestly didn't even get that good of a pump today at the gym. I think I was just so depleted from the low days that today my body's like trying to catch up. Um, and I ate all those carbs right before going to the gym. So maybe just didn't have enough time to really kick in. Um, but here's what we're gonna do. Here's where my dilemma is, right? I literally, the only carb sources I have in this house, I have rice and then I bought some hamburger buns yesterday and the tortillas, right? But these tortillas are low carb, not gonna be enough. These buns are 20 grams each. So I'd have to eat like four like whole like things of buns half the package um, or just like a bunch of rice so the only other option I have and coach if you're watching this I promise I'm not just trying to make excuses I've had these crusties like ginger bread cookies in my pantry for like a year not even kidding I haven't even touched them it's still closed uh, so what we're gonna do we're gonna have two sandwiches two like chicken sandwiches because I still have like 50 grams of protein left and I'm gonna do I think like this is in the macros on these are actually phenomenal one gram of fat 19 grams of carbs one gram of protein so it's pretty much just straight carbs and I would only need like two servings which is six tablespoons so it's really it's probably gonna be like three cookies or something like that I don't know um so yeah I'm gonna make that, oh, because my other option was like the cream of wheat, but I just don't wanna have a really high volume meal right before bed. And I just know since I'm doing the chicken sandwiches, it's just gonna be too much. I'm still not even hungry. Like I still feel full from the cream of wheat that I ate earlier. So that's the oven, that's the plan. Gonna get to cooking and I'm gonna show you guys what my last meal is to finish off these macros. All right guys, burgers are done which sandwiches I guess they are, they're chicken sandwiches. We got seven ounces of chicken, we got a serving, uh, or actually two servings of barbecue sauce. Again, that sugar-free one. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, I probably could have just done the four buns now looking at it, but whatever. And then here's the cookie. <laughs> I literally, uh, this is, I just made one big pancake out of it and it's, I, I yeah, I, I'm, we're not gonna talk about that. I'm gonna try it for you guys, but I'm not confident about it. Um, basically, I just weighed it out. I weighed out two servings. I just added an egg, mixed it up, and put it in the pan in the oven. I don't know if this is even like fully cooked, but I left it in there for the time it said. So, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Let the cookie sit <clears throat> while I was finishing my meal. I'm not convinced it's fully cooked. Bottom looks good. It's kind of just like a crispy pancake. It's okay. Kind of just tastes like bread. It's it kind of just tastes like a like a dry pancake to be honest. Nothing crazy, but not bad. If I had some macros left, some milk would have been incredible with that, but. Guys, that's it. That wraps it up for today. It's 11 p.m. Gotta go to bed soon. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you're able to learn something or just take something away from this. Uh, you know, this is my first time carb cycling, so I'm learning as well. It wasn't perfect, but it's a learning experience. I've learned a lot the last couple days. I'll be able to take that moving forward and just keep fixing it up. And you guys will see if you stay tuned you'll see how i kind of get this all together and how it's going to all come together so beautifully 
for show day. Alright, so appreciate y'all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. More heart, more hustle.